Hello Stampers and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I'm going to showcase the Snail Mail Suite. This suite is on page 54 to 55 of your Spring Mini catalog and it was the very first item that I absolutely had to have out of this catalog. You can buy the entire suite for just $95, and it comes with so many adorable coordinating products. Or if for some reason you don't want the whole suite, you can of course pick and choose the items you would like. I'm going to show you every item in the suite in today's video, and then we'll create a card together. First of all, let's look at the super adorable designer series paper. And so many of the designs from the paper can be cut out with the snail dit dies. As you can see on my little display board, these elements right here were all cut out from the designer series paper. Now the dies of course also coordinate with the snail dit stamp set. These stamps are frankly irresistible and they are perfect for so many occasions. Congratulating someone, just saying hello, happy birthday, or any other kind of happy mail moment. For me, as a frequent sender of happy mail, this suite is absolutely a must have, and I've already gotten so much use out of it. I've started using this happy mail enclosed stamp on the outside of all of my envelopes. All the images in yellow are the ones that I've stamped and then cut out with the dies. There's also the rectangular postage stamp punch, which coordinates with the stamp set. This is not included in the suite, but you can find it on page 168 of your annual catalog. I'm going to be using this punch later today when we make a card, so you'll get to see it in action and how perfectly it coordinates with this stamp set. Now there are just two more items in the suite to show you, which are the embellishments. First are these sweet little resin hearts, which come 150 in a pack, and they come in two colors, red and white. Obviously, these are going to be so handy for so many projects. There's also the twine combo pack, two rolls of twine, which are each 15 yards long in Blushing Bride and Whisper White. Again, super versatile embellishments that you can use on so many different projects. Here are just some of the cards I've created with this suite. Now let's get on with creating a card together. Here's what you'll need. A card base of five and a half by eight and a half inches a piece of white cardstock, four by five and a quarter inches, a piece of designer series paper, three and three quarters by five inches, real red cardstock, four by one and three quarter inches, another piece of DSP, and this is three and three quarters by one and a half, and then you'll need some scraps of white, real red, and basic gray cardstock. I'm going to start by stamping my snail. I'm going to use this cute little one here. It says, you've got mail. And I'm going to use Memento Black ink because I want to color it later. And I'm going to just stamp that on some scrap white cardstock. On another piece of scrap cardstock, I'm going to stamp the Happy Mail Enclosed in Real Red ink. Now I'll punch that out with my rectangular postage stamp punch. Can you believe how adorable that is? Now while I've got my punch out, I'm going to punch out the same shape from basic gray cardstock as well. 
I'm going to take this little snail over to my Susie machine and cut it out with the coordinating die. And at the same time, I'm going to use this very strange looking die to cut out from real red cardstock. Notice when you use the die that it cuts off the You've Got Mail. Now you could also use that same die to cut out the snail image from the designer series paper and then you wouldn't have to do any coloring. But I'm going to use my blends to do some quick coloring and I'm going to use the same colors that coordinate with the DSP. Daffodil Delight, Bermuda Bay and Real Red. Now let me show you what this cool, funky shape is going to fold into. It makes an envelope. And now I'm ready to assemble my card. And there's my finished card. Remember that you'll get a chance to win this card when you share the video. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you this card in the mail. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. I'm not currently offering in-person classes, but you can visit my website to see all the different virtual events I am offering, including creativity to go, mystery stamping, and bring your own project. All of these classes are fun, social, creative, and welcoming. I hope to see you there soon. Find all of these details and so much more on my website. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page called Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, where you can join a weekly creative challenge and win a prize from me. And if you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. If you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your very own online party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye.